thank you all so much for being here. This is always an exciting day, kind of the the unofficial kickoff to uh, to, to baseball season, and something we look forward to certainly every year. And great to have uh, great to have you all here with us today. Uh, my name's Nick Curran. I'm the the radio broadcaster here for the Bats, and uh, one of the overarching themes for this season is uh, 2024 will move us into 25 years of Louisville Slugger Field. So uh, a, a huge deal, certainly, and uh, hard to believe, but already uh, 25 years down here and, um, and, and baseball and family fun uh, here at this gorgeous ballpark. Uh, something else very exciting for us is a, a new era of Bats baseball under new ownership, Diamond Baseball Holdings, uh, purchasing the Bats back in December. And uh, to kick us off today, hear from DBH, uh, the head of mergers and acquisitions and someone who was instrumental in, in kind of transitioning uh, to this new group, uh, Henry Shepard joins us now. Thank you, Nick, and thank you everyone for being here. Uh, on behalf of Diamond Baseball, it is a privilege, a pleasure, an honor to be here. Uh, we are so thrilled um, to be here in Louisville. We are excited about the bats. Um, this is a market that we have sought for a long time. Uh, this is a stadium, a front office staff, a brand, and most importantly, a community that we want to be in, and we are thrilled to be here. So thank you, everyone. Um, we think the bats have massive potential above and beyond where they are today. Uh, and we are so excited to lock arms with Greg and his staff, with the mayor and his staff, uh, and the people of Louisville to steward the bats uh, through their next chapter. Uh, a few things we plan to do, uh, we plan to double down on Louisville, uh, double down on Louisville Slugger Field, sorry about that, <laughs> double down on Louisville Slugger Field, uh, double down on Greg and his staff. Uh, we plan to focus on the fan um, by establishing the bats as kind of the go-to affordable, family-friendly, fun option for uh, Louisvillians. We plan to bring learnings um, and, and resources from across the family here in Louisville um, for the betterment of the fan. We plan to activate this ballpark um, as much as we can to ensure that it remains a valuable community asset here in Louisville. We want um, the people of Louisville here at Louisville Slugger Field. Uh, we want to recognize and grow the tradition and the legacy of the Bats. Um, the Bats have a rich history in minor league baseball, and we want to be very locally focused in how we um, work with this community and steward this team. We want to invest in this facility alongside the city um, to make sure that it remains kind of a preeminent minor league baseball facility. And lastly, and Perhaps most importantly is we want to invest in this community. Um, we will be philanthropically active here in Louisville. We want to be actively giving back to the people here. Um, and we are very focused on being the best steward of this team that we can possibly be. Um, so before I step off, a few thank yous. Um, as we, we are new in town, and, and first and foremost to the mayor and his staff, uh, Mayor Greenberg uh, and his staff have given us an incredibly warm welcome. They have gone uh, well above and beyond the call of duty uh, to welcome Diamond Baseball to town. Um, their care for the bats, their care for downtown Louisville, uh, desire to invest in this is evident, and we cannot wait to lock arms with you and your staff uh, to take this to the next chapter. Uh, to Greg and your staff, you guys are uh, the ones doing it every day on the ground. Um, as I mentioned, we think that there's a ton of, of room to grow here at the Bats, and we are just so thankful for the warm welcome from you guys. Uh, the Cincinnati Reds, Coach Pat, Sam Grossman, the rest of the Reds family, uh, you guys have treated us as family, and we are grateful. Um, I can't think of a more exciting time to be a part of the Reds player development function, and we are just uh, so delighted to be here. Don't take our responsibility to you guys lightly. Uh, and then lastly, to the city of Louisville. As I mentioned, uh, we sought this out. We want to be here. We want to partner with you guys. Uh, we cannot wait to welcome you to Louisville Slugger Field. Greg and his staff have an awesome lineup of promotions for this year, uh, and we are just so thrilled to, to see you out at the ballpark. So um, thank you, everyone, for your time, and go Bats. You mentioned 25 years of uh, the Bats being here at Louisville Slugger Field. Also, uh, 25 years of a great partnership between the Bats and the city of Louisville. And uh, joining us next, the mayor of the city of Louisville, Mr. Craig Greenberg. Thank you so much, Nick, and good afternoon, everyone. It is so exciting to be here in downtown Louisville, where great things are happening and even greater things are going to happen with 
the new ownership, Henry, to you and your entire team at Diamond Baseball Holdings. Welcome to Louisville. Thank you for making this significant investment in our city, uh, which we know is only just the beginning of exciting more thing of exciting things into the entire Bats and Reds organizations. Thank you all so much for what you do. We are excited to build on the 25 years that we have been a part in partnership together. Uh, I will start with a confession. Since being coming mayor about 13 months ago, this, the one time where I was the most nervous in the entire 13 months through all of the challenges that we have faced as a city was right before I had to throw out the first pitch at a bats game. I am not baseball inclined, if you will, and I had not thrown a pitch in probably 20 plus years. But fortunately, it went over the plate. I did not, there's only downside I realized from agreeing to throw out the first pitch, but it was a really fun experience. I got through it. I will never do it again, but it was amazing. Thank you for giving me that opportunity, and uh, that's just a fun memory that I will always have. You know, Louisville is one of America's truly great sports towns. We're home to the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. We're home to the Kentucky Derby, which this year we'll be celebrating our 150th Kentucky Derby, as everyone knows. We've got great college sports. And of course, we have Louisville Slugger, the Bats, and this great facility, Slugger Field. This is such an iconic part of downtown and our entire city and it's great to be celebrating 25 years. Uh, Nick alluded to it, but for those who don't know, the city of Louisville owns this stadium. And so we're more excited than ever to be celebrating 25 years of this stadium, of the investments that have been in this stadium, of our partnership with the BATS organization, and of what we are about ready to do to celebrate the next 25 years and make it an even more exciting 25 years. This partnership is great for downtown, it's great for our economy, it's great for our residents, it's great for visitors, it's great for our entire city. And I'm so excited for it to get a little bit warmer and for fans to be filling these seats and eating this food and enjoying baseball and having a wonderful time. And I know my kids are particularly excited for Savannah Bananas to be coming later this summer as well. That's gonna be fun, that type of activity and continuing to uh, invigorate downtown and the stadium is what it's all about. And I knew, know that the BATS organization and Diamond Baseball Holding are committed to amping up the fan experience even more, to do even more. And so the city of Louisville will continue to be a strong partner as we continue to invest in downtown continue to make it an even more exciting place to be. This is just one of the many plans that we have for the future of our downtown, from reimagining the Belvedere to rebuilding 4th Street in a new exciting way. Investments in Waterfront Park, West and East are already underway, and that is just part of it. So again, welcome to Louisville, to Henry and Diamond Baseball Holdings. We're excited about the BATS team this upcoming season, uh, and thank you for having us. And congratulations, well, not a, an early excitement. It's going to be a great year as our general manager, Pat Kelly, this year we know is going to surpass 2,000 wins and keep going. So congratulations, not just on what you have done, but for what's about to come in the season ahead. Thank you all very much, and let's go Bats. Mr. Mayor, first of all, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed that you said you're not going to throw out another first pitch for us, but <laughs> if you ever change your mind, we would like for you to wear this beautiful oh, uh, <laughs> Bats jersey. Love it. As Thank you so the Bats. Much. Thank you for everything you do. Thank, Thank you for what the city does for us. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Never say never, I guess. That's right. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Nice New Jersey. Thanks to the mayor for joining us today. Uh, 25 years at this ballpark, also 25 years of a partnership between uh, the Bats and the Cincinnati Reds. Uh, this year will mark 25 years with the Bats as the top affiliate of the Reds uh, and great partners they've been. A lot of thrilling moments over the years uh, at this ballpark, including certainly not the least of which uh, many turned in by the talent we saw roll through here uh, last year. Joining us today from the Reds, 
the Vice President and Assistant General Manager. Please welcome Sam Grossman. Thanks everyone, good to be here. Tough, tough acts to follow here. But um, you know, people have talked about the word partnership today. I think that's what we feel um, every year, but you know, especially the past few years, um, it's been such a great partnership between us and uh, the bats here, you know, working with Greg, with PK. Um, we couldn't be more excited about how that's been developing. Um, we get the most excited when we have players coming up through the system like we were able to produce last year that came through here. That's when it's fun for us, it's fun for the bats. Um, it's just such an exciting time uh, for them and for us. And that partnership is just gonna continue with Henry and the new ownership group. Um, I know I've said the word partnership and the word excitement a lot, but that's really what it's all about. Um, I've been with the Reds for 18 years. They mentioned, uh, you know, we've been together for 25. I can't think of a more exciting time um, than last year and leading into 2024 um, for both organizations. So with that, just want to say thanks again um, and ha happy and excited to be here. Thanks to Sam for being here and looking forward to uh, another great season with the uh, the Bats as the top affiliate of the Reds. And uh, speaking of that, back for uh, a fourth straight year, uh, would have been five, but there was no season in 2020. And uh, was here in 2018, got a little uh, taste of managing the Bats, but then, then got the call to the big leagues himself. Uh, so uh, a short visit in 2018, but it's been great to have uh, PK with us uh, for three straight full seasons this year will be the fourth. Uh, the manager of the bats enters this season with 1,955 career minor league wins, 45 shy of becoming just one of three active minor league managers with 2,000 wins. So certainly sets up to be a big year for him personally. Uh, back again as the manager of the bats, Pat Kelly. Thank you, Nick. Uh, it was really nice to see a, a professional who works with a microphone every day of his life uh, handle these <laughs> microphones right here. But that was really good. Uh, Greg, thanks for, for having me. Um, Mayor, it was a tremendous pitch, and as bad as our pitching was last year, you almost ended up in the bullpen. So uh, I do appreciate that. And, and Henry, you don't know how excited we are to have this ownership group in here to, to help us. And, um, you know, it's, it's probably these two weeks, last week and this week, are probably my favorites of the year because obviously we're very close to spring training. Uh, we report on Monday, pitchers and catchers. But also, you know, Puxatani Phil told us that it's going to be a good spring. Um, and then the other thing is we've got the Waste Management Golf Tournament, which makes Greg very happy. And we've got uh, something called the Super Bowl or something. And I, I think what's really neat about the Super Bowl this year is all the International League ties to it. You know, we've got uh, Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs, his dad Pat played for Norfolk. Uh, we've got uh, Brock Purdy for the 49ers, and uh, his dad Sean played for Richmond. And then, probably most disappointing to me, we have poor Jared Goff, who didn't quite make it, but his dad Jerry played for me in Indianapolis uh, back in 1991, so. Um, Kind of a, we got a little baseball in, in the Super Bowl, which is really nice. Um, I, I think last year you look back and it was, it was almost magical. You know, we, we always talk about prospects and, and guys that are going to help our major league team. And we had a tremendous run of young players come through here last year. We set all kind of offensive records. Um, but what was amazing was all of those guys not only played extremely well here, but then went to the major leagues and performed up there. And you very rarely see where, you know, five or six guys go at one time. You know, I remember back when I was in the Expos organization, we always talked about being a small budget team and we had to develop two, sometimes three players every year for the major leagues. I think a normal major league team is hoping to develop one guy every year. And we were able to send five, almost six guys who really turned things around in Cincinnati. And I think it's, it's exciting and we're going to benefit from that this year because obviously they've got tremendous depth up there. There's only 26 roster spots, so good luck with that, Sam. 
we're going to have somebody filter down to us as who's really going to make our club very good. So I think it's going to be exciting. We got a chance to have some good pitching this year, which will be fun. And uh, hopefully we'll continue to swing the bats uh, like we did last year and, and uh, make it fun to, for everybody to see. But uh, I appreciate being here. And uh, thanks very much for having us. Okay. <laughs> There's the hat. Okay. You got that. We may able to do this. I always love this part of press conferences. It's always the most awkward. Everybody gets to watch you get dressed. You know what? I'm going to cheat. I'm just going to pull it over the top. By the way, TJ, our clubhouse man, uh, obviously this shrunk over the winter. So. <laughs> All right. Good. Looking forward to having PK back this year and uh, what will be a fun a uh, year of, of perhaps some history for him and uh, some hopefully some more award-winning pregame radio interviews every Saturday. Be sure to tune into those on the Big X. Uh, last but not least, one thing that's been a staple of uh, our time here, well, a couple of things, uh, in downtown Louisville, uh, the great promotions that you can expect from this team year in and year out, and, uh, well, the other thing, one of the people that helps come up with those and certainly has since his time here and has been here throughout, uh, he certainly needs no introduction. The president of the Bats, Greg Gallia. Thank you, Nick. Mayor, thank you again for being here. It's our pleasure, our honor to have you here. Henry, thank you and your busy schedule making time to be here in Louisville. <laughs> you don't know how excited we are to be part of the DBH family. So again, on behalf of our entire franchise and staff, Thank you so much. What I'm going to quickly speak about and just gloss over is our promotions, but uh, the mayor made reference to Louisville Slugger Field being a key part of life here in downtown Louisville. And myself, as a native Louisvillian who grew up in Middletown when it had one stoplight, after spending 40 years now with this franchise, back to my days with A. Ray Smith and the Redbirds, um, I can certainly say this promotional calendar that we're going to unveil this year is certainly one of the strongest that we've ever had. And uh, we're really excited for some of the fun things that we have planned for you. Uh, tip of my cap to uh, our marketing director, Vin Island, Joey, all the guys in the marketing department, all the young energy that they bring to what we do each and every day. And uh, we couldn't do it without them and without the rest of the franchise. So again, thank you to them. And uh, we'll kick things off with a big, big way on Friday night, March 29th, which I don't think we've ever opened a season in March. So please, National Weather Service, send us some good weather that night. It's going to be Easter weekend, so we're going to come out with a bang, literally, with fireworks, dollar beer. We're going to have a throwback dollar beer night on that Friday night. The superstars will be here to entertain everybody. And of course, for all the folks that enjoy margaritas, $6 margaritas from number one tequila, uh, and then, of course, being Easter weekend on Good Friday, we'll have fish platters available throughout the ballpark for sale. So we're going to have a lot of fun that Friday night, and it's going to continue throughout the whole year. Some of the highlights, of course, we'll do Star Wars night this year. It's going to be in April. It's always one of our big nights. Uh, we have Halloween night coming back in May, so all the kids can get their Halloween costumes back out of the closet, put them back on, come down here and have a fun night of trick-or-treating around the concourse before our bats game that night. Of course, July 3rd will be our big fireworks show. We've already talked about the Savannah Bananas coming. Doug, I see you back there. Thank you to you guys. Appreciate all you've done to help make that happen. We're excited to have the bananas here on August 1, 2, and 3. We're also going to have Margaritaville night, so all you Jimmy Buffett fans, 
throw on your uh, tropical shirts and come out here in August, along with our River Bat Tribute Night. And uh, right here on this poster board, we have some of our key promotional items that we'll be featuring throughout the year. Muhammad Ali Night on June 1st, as we partner with the Ali Festival again. And we're so excited. Uh, we've uh, Personally, I've had a chance to know the Ali family since my days at the Redbirds, and uh, we're so blessed that Lonnie Ali, the wife of the former champ, uh, allowed us to create a bobblehead of the champ. And that is one of the fabulous gifts, along with the Ellie De La Cruz bobblehead, that our fans can get this year by purchasing any of our ticket packages. So uh, for folks that are interested, just go to batsbaseball.com. He'll tell you everything you need to know about that. But again, we have a wide array of things that I think will entertain and excite everybody in our community. And again, we can't wait to get started. And again, for all these people in this room, a lot of you guys are great partners of ours. We so graciously appreciate everything you guys do for us. Without you, this beautiful ballpark probably would have never have happened. And look what it's done to downtown Louisville. This ballpark right here has been the catalyst for the development of so many things around us. And we as a franchise take great pride in that. So again, thank you for everybody for being here today. Thank you for helping us celebrate what will soon be the beginning of the baseball season. And as we said already, go Bats.